Two Gentlemen of Verona was written by Archibald Joseph Cronin, who was also known as A.J. Cronin. A.J. Cronin was born on July 19, 1896 at Cardross in Scotland. Interestingly, he was a physician and also a novelist whose works won a large Anglo-American readership. Cronin studied at the University of Glasgow and served as a surgeon in the Royal Navy during World War I. It was while recovering from a breakdown in health that he wrote his first ever novel, Hatter's Castle. And this book was an immediate success in Britain. His novels, The Stars Look Down, the, uh, the Citadel, The Keys of the Kingdom, The Spanish Gardener, are a few amongst his most popular books. Some of his other popular novels are The Green Years, Shannon's Way, The Judas Tree, and A Song of Sixpence. Let me tell you another interesting fact. Some of his novels have also been made into successful films. So in the story, The Two Gentlemen of Verona, A.J. Cronin has beautifully explained the importance of dedication towards relationships. You will also see that he has well carved the idea of selfless help in the story. Also, if you have noticed, the author has chosen the title very discreetly. And you want to know why? Well, the title sounds all the more impressive because it happens to be very similar to the title of an early play of Shakespeare's, The Two Gentlemen of Verona. As we drove through the foothills of the Alps, two small boys stopped us on the outskirts of Verona. They were sitting, selling wild strawberries. Don't buy, warned Luigi, our cautious driver. You will get the fruit much better in Verona. Besides, these, these boys... He shrugged his shoulders to convey the disapproval of their shabby appearance. Yet, gazing at the two little figures with their brown skins, tangled hair and dark, earnest eyes, we felt ourselves strangely attracted. We bought their biggest basket and set off towards town. So the narrator and his companion were stopped in the outskirts of Verona by two small boys. Verona is one of the most popular travel cities of Italy. The city is situated on the banks of the Adige River in Veneto. It falls between Milan and Venice. Verona is also known as the city where Romeo and Juliet, the characters from Shakespeare's play, lived. Back to the story. These boys wanted to sell their wild strawberries to the narrator and his friend. But Luigi, the driver, tried to stop him from buying the strawberries from the boys. The boys appeared suspicious to him with their shabby looks and dirty clothes. He suggested that the narrator buy the strawberries from the town as he would get better ones there. Although their clothes were old and worn out, their tanned skin, tangled hair and dark eyes attracted the narrator and his companion. Eventually, they found out that the two boys were brothers. Nicola was 13 years old and Jacopo was almost 12 and the narrator bought the biggest basket of strawberries from the boys and set off for the town. What could be the reason for that? Why are these two children working so hard? Tutomate! For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.